conversation at David Venable QVC. Welcome on in, catching up with me. And right now we're going to talk to you about a great brand called Ninja. Now you know Ninja, Ninja Foodie, all the great products that Ninja has brought to QVC over the years. Many of you have Ninja products in your kitchen right now, air fryers and pressure cookers, and all the things that are making your life a whole lot easier. Now waffle irons are one of my favorite things. Well, waffles are one of my favorite things. And but what's the challenge with a traditional waffle iron? It opens up this way, so it, it cooks flat or horizontally, and you open up a cover, and sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it makes it not quite dark enough, sometimes it makes it too dark. What if you had a waffle iron that cooked vertically? Now, what do I mean by that? Now, I'll turn it here to the side, and then I will angle this part to the camera. That's the inside of the waffle iron. So, when this is plugged in and preheated, I'm adding my waffle batter, that, and we give you a little uh, pre-measured scoop, so you never overfill it. You do it from the top. You set your brownness level, and then the lights will let you know when it's done. And then when it's done, you simply press the button and open up the front, and your waffle presents itself to you. Let's take a look at our uh, videotape because it also has a operator guide as well as some wonderful recipes inside. We just introduced this item two weeks ago, and 3,300 have been ordered. I have 700 left, and these are a Black Friday sale price. Now, what does that mean? That means you're getting a great price. It also means you're getting five easy payments, and it means you're getting free shipping and handling. That's a non stick waffle plate inside. When it turns green, it's done, and so is the waffle. This is amazing. You pop this out of that non stick waffle iron, and you're ready to go with a beautiful, beautiful Belgian waffle. That can either be cake like, which is the way how I like it, nice and soft, or crispy and crunchy, all depending on how you like it. Fill it and top it and do all the things that you want to with a great, great waffle. And we're going to show you how easy it is to make. Jessica Hart is a member of our Ninja team, and she joins us now live via Skype to talk about this unique way to make waffles. And Jess, so cool that we're filling this vertically. I know, it is really cool. And you know at Ninja, we're always coming up with new, innovative, fun products to make your kitchen easier. And I call them fun because I think they're a lot more fun than the, the traditional products that we know. Because yes, this um, Belgian waffle maker fills vertically. And what I'm holding right here is the shades of darkness. So starting with one all the way up to five so that you can customize it to get those waffles the way your family likes them. And somebody in your family might really like them um, at a level two. And somebody might like them at a level five. And this allows you to do all of those shades of waffles to get the appropriate doneness. But let me show you how easy it is to do. So this just flips open. It's a push button. And it allows you to pull the waffle right out, making it very, very easy. It is deliciously done every time because we've got that perfect pour cup. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on now. I'll put it on level one and we'll fill this as soon as it says it's ready and goes to green. But how about some chicken and waffles tonight for dinner? Oh, how about it? Yes, something so easy, so delicious. Waffles really make my family happy. And sometimes doing them for dinner or for lunch or using your leftover batter to make this chicken and waffles really hits the spot. So I'll, mm. I will do some syrup on top of there and we will just enjoy these chicken and waffles tonight for dinner. You could also do a white pan gravy over top of those if you've got mm. the Heartland Fresh chicken and you could yeah. do that white peppered gravy over the waffle and make it a savory dish. This is really amazing. Now Lori asked a great question and you alluded to it a moment ago, but I would like to ask the question and then have you answer it. Um, yeah. You alluded to it because you want the waffle iron to preheat. Lori wants yeah. to know how does the batter not glob out of the bottom? How does it not leak out of the bottom? That's such a smart question. And you know what? The traditional waffle iron, if you don't fill it perfectly, it will leak over the sides and make a big mess. But here, we have the perfect pour cup, and there's a line inside at three-quarter cup, and it is a full cup if you fill to the top. So you will want to decide um, what's best for you. If you want it 
you know, bubbling and filling all the way to the top, or if you'd like it a little bit less. But I have my cup nicely filled to the top. That's what I've been doing today as I've been making waffles. And this makes a delicious waffle, and it gives you just a little edge piece. I cut them off for my kids. They just got home for, from school. And this, this big waffle stack that we did here that says happy, which you can do for a birthday or just a special event. It's a happy day in my house because my daughter just came home and said she got her first ever solo in the Christmas concert. Oh so my she goodness. will enjoy this tonight. Um, and I cut off those little edge pieces that you'll see, and she got to enjoy them as a little treat um, when she got home from school. Oh, well, please congratulate. What is her first name? Zara. Well, tell her that we think that's awesome, and we're so yes. thrilled for her. And another reason this doesn't glob out of the bottom is why you want to preheat it. Because that waffle batter starts cooking immediately. It starts mm -hmm. cooking and thickening the moment it hits those hot waffle plates. That's why it doesn't leak out of the bottom. That's why you don't pour the pre measured cup that we give you of batter until this is preheated. And once it's preheated, the moment you pour it in, it immediately starts cooking. Now, Jess, how do we know when a waffle is done? Well, I just had my Ninja Beep telling me that it's ready. So I'm going to pour my batter in. And then it will immediately switch over once it's full to red, which is a little light on the bottom showing us that it's red and it's in the cooking process. And then it will give you the ninja beep again and that green light to give you the go ahead to open it up and you'll know that it is done. Now we have two color choices. The one in front of me is the gray, but you notice that Jess has one also. She has the white choice available. So you may choose either white or gray. Now, I have 300 left in this gray, and I have 350 to go around in the white. Please understand that this is super easy to work with. Jess, how do we clean the Ninja Vertical Waffle Maker? So, I've been doing batch waffles all day, David, and it's a nonstick coating. So, you don't even need to, um, you know, get a cloth in there in between batch cooking. You can just keep it going and going as you're making waffles for your friends and family. And then when you're done, when everything is cooled off, because I will remind you that this is a waffle maker, so everything is hot except for that push button, you'll want it to cool off. And then you can take a damp cloth to it, let that dry, let the inside of the waffle maker dry, close it up, and you're ready to go for the next time. Susan from our chat was, was asking, will it do a cornbread batter? Can I pour cornbread batter inside and do a cornbread yes. waffle? Yes. So that's the other thing. I use a specialty cake mix for this funfetti layer cake. You can do cornbread, you can do chocolate cake, which I'm holding, and I was about to drizzle some caramel topping oh. and um, some sprinkles. So you can use those cake mixes to make it easy. You can use your favorite waffle, um, homemade waffle recipe, which I did. You can do those savory waffles as long as you are filling to the top of this cup. And as long as it's the proper consistency, if you feel like it's too thick, you can add a little bit more milk or water to make it a thinner consistency. As long as you're doing that, you're good to go. And I would imagine you might be able to put some shredded cheese in that cornbread batter too, and maybe oh. have a cheesy cornbread waffle, which would not hurt my feelings. Now, for <laughs> me, I would uh, probably I've I've, I've located and uh, and been using a low carb pancake waffle mix at home. So you can also use those inside this. This has a little button here on the side. You press this button, and when you press it, it releases the lock and allows you to open the door. You're not going to open this door until it beeps and it turns green. And if you're wondering about the darkness level, you just turn the dial from one all the way up to five, depending on how you like your waffles cooked, and it will cook them to perfection. And how much waffle batter do you add so it doesn't overflow or undercook or not have enough waffle batter? You fill this, and this is your measuring cup, and it's included. This is also top right dishwasher safe, or you can rinse it out in the sink. Black Friday sale price, five easy payments, free shipping and handling. And we just introduced this recently, and over 3,000 ordered, and we have only 600 remaining in this show. So let me encourage you to pick it up and take advantage of that Black Friday sale price and the free ship, and we'll get it sent out to you straight away. Uh, Jess, I know you've got a busy Friday afternoon. Uh, uh, waffles tonight and chicken for dinner, is that right? That's right. We're gonna we're just gonna eat our waffles. We'll have chicken and waffles. We'll have a little bit of waffle layer cake, and we will enjoy ourselves for sure. Well, be sure and let your little one know how fantastic we think that is that she is doing a Christmas solo in the Christmas pageant. Thank you so much, David. I love spending time with you. Always good to have you back, my love. Be well and be safe.